it's probably getting worse. They are stealing our children's future. One credit card. Open your mouth real big. One request for medical services. Digits. One crime at a time. The minute you compromise a child's social, you're exposing them for a lifetime of trouble. Identity theft in children is on the rise. According to a new report by All Clear ID, the percentage of victims under five has more than doubled over the last two years. It's profitable for them. Since children are given a social security number shortly after they are born, a thief can potentially use their identity for more than a decade before being discovered. A child's identity is targeted for theft 35 times more than an adult's. It's devastating. Raymond Garcia went to set up a checking account for his daughter and found the 15-year-old's identity was stolen. He's a child and just starting life. There were four credit cards in default on her credit report and two overdrawn bank accounts. It gets frustrating, you know. It's like fighting a losing battle. Nicole's case is pretty typical. Her social security number fell into the wrong hands and for years it was used to get access to thousands of dollars. Oh, I could imagine these kids that that are going through this and don't even know it. Even now, Nicole has trouble getting medical care because her records show she has insurance under someone else's name. And I'm still wanting to get that cleared. Fixing identity theft for children can be much more difficult than the same crime for adults. So organizations like the Identity Theft Resource Center help people work through the process, taking hundreds of calls a month. I mean, it's not just the time or the monetary resources that you're going through, it's the emotional impact, um, your trust. You stop trusting those around you. And it's not just the child's credit that's being ruined, it's their reputation. With the arrest records, you can't get rid of that record. Some thieves are committing crimes. That criminal record stays in your child's name for the rest of their lives. Here are some of the red flags to look out for. Being turned down when you try to get a savings account for your child. Getting bills or credit card applications with your child's name on them and getting notices for IRS earnings. To help prevent your child from being victimized, put antivirus software on your computer and get a passport for your children. That links their names, their social security numbers, as well as their birth dates in a national database. And beware, friends and relatives are often the biggest perpetrators of the fraud. It's a good thing I took care of that, huh? Yeah. Nicole says she's learned a valuable lesson that most don't understand until they reach adulthood. I have to be careful who I give my information to. For San Diego's Most Wanted, I'm Lynn Stewart.